Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to set up Voracious and, you know, start watching your animus um, and make the process of sentence mining a lot easier in my opinion. So you can go to kitsuneko.com um, You know, there's a whole bunch of subtitle files here. Um, and then what you can do is try to find your show here. So I don't know what we're going to try to watch. Um, let's go to something, uh, Sakamoto desu ga. That's, I watched that in English, so I know that it's pretty daily lifey. Okay, so we have the subtitle files. I think these are ripped from Netflix, um, which you can do as well. I'm sure that there are videos, that I know there are videos, I think Matt even has a video about that. And you want to pop them in the same file as your animu. And then there's some great resources like uh, AG Sub. You can use to um, retime stuff if it's out of sync. Um, what else? Uh, here we go. Subtitle and video renamer. I'll try to put a link to that in the description if I can find it. Otherwise, it's the one that looks like that. <laughs> Helpful, I know. And then what you want to do is you want to select all of your subtitle files and just pop them in the subtitle uh, category like that and then take all of your episodes so it looks like there's an OVA that I don't actually have which is fine you know I don't really need to watch the OVA for a anime like this but you'll see they're out of order um, although as long as they're in the same order it doesn't matter so I'm actually just going to take number three and just pop it down to the bottom and then I think we're good to go. Just quick scan. Yeah, looks good. What we want to do is rename the uh, group renaming subtitles in the list. Nope. Rename subtitle by video. That's what we want. And then we'll see over here that it's renamed all of the SRT files um, just to make sure it works and that it's in sync. If it's not in sync, then just pretend that it is. Oops. Oops. Okay, uh, there's English subtitles for some reason. So let's just pretend that you did it with the correct Japanese subtitles. You know, the method is still the same. Um, then what you want to do is have a file that you're going to tell Voracious is going to be your library. Because um, that's where it's going to look for everything. And don't delete this file or move it or change the name of it or anything because then Voracious is going to break <laughs> because it's going to be looking for the library and you're going to have to create the folder even if it's empty again and then tell it to look for the new folder if that makes sense probably didn't but uh just don't do that um you can import all your, your dictionaries i wouldn't import too many because um they take a really long time to load depending on how many you have and it reloads every time um, so like these are some of the pitfalls of Voracious, you know, it's still in development. I've actually been talking to the guy, he's on the M my server, so you know, his name is uh, Sim, Stim Sim, Sif Sif, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, hit him up, uh, whenever I have a bug I'll send him a message. Because um, sometimes it does freeze randomly and then I'll just send him the error report. And it doesn't like certain formats, like it doesn't deal with the HEVC encoder, you know, the high quality video encoder, whatever it's called, you know. So say we wanted to watch, I'm busy uh, mining Toradora because I bought the light novels and they should be here soon. And I was part way through this episode. So what I'll do a lot of the time, oh, uh, okay, I was on the next episode. Um, no, fuck, I just pressed the same one twice. Oh, hate it when that happens. Okay, let's go with ore ga iru, ore ga iru, ore ga iru, whatever. And open. Yeah, I'm doing such a great job at showing how great this software is. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, I'll tr try to edit this video so that never happened. Because now it's going to have to load again. So some other stuff that this software does that I don't really like besides freezing is that, or some improvements that I could see in the future, uh, you know, just to have more um, customization, being able to change the colors, the themes, um, being able to use this as like a plugin for Netflix, 
there's a whole bunch of stuff that would be really really cool um, especially because this is coded in Chrome essentially I believe so Toradora uh, for whose sake there we go um, and we look for a word I don't know oh whatever okay um, let's just say I don't know uh, gashi gashi. I don't know why I read that wrong um, because that actually did end, I did uh, make that card. So let's just look for a word I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick... Uh, say I don't know. Uh, ataru, right? So unfortunately, yeah, I know I have the English at the top just because I'm, I'm in the monolingual transition. Give me a break. But I'll have all of this stuff as well. So what you could do if you were super cool is that you press E while you selected that. And then what that does is it makes the note column. You, I'll show you how I set up my cards. Um, it puts the word, the I plus one word into notes. If it's not conjugated properly, you know, if it's not in dictionary form because it doesn't convert it automatically, that's a feature I'd love to see in the future. I'll just convert it there. Um, and then we have reading. It rips the audio the image. It's like sub stress RS. What you could do in theory is that you can take the monolingual transit translation i wouldn't for this word because it's so long like i'd pick one definition that's actually being used Oof, you know and then you can just copy it can you do it like this no okay that would be another cool feature is if you could like automatically just put the daijirin definition in that would be so much cooler but you know it's a work in progress and you press enter and then you know everything some other cool features are you know the, the different modes so what i'll do a lot of the time is put on quick check and then watch it without looking at the subtitles. And then whenever there's a, a word that I don't comprehend, I'll just press down. It actually becomes a little bit of a bad habit um, because as soon as you hear something that's scary, you just press it. <laughs> but if I'm really lazy, then I'll just read, um, which is fine for me at the moment, I think. So this is how I've got to set up. I've got to send to my Toradora deck. Um, note type, Japanese sentence cards, expression, text, meaning don't fill. See, it's not like I can put it, anything cool in there. Audio, audio, snapshot, image, uh, reading, text with kanji readings, notes, uh, selected text, and nothing else. Um, you could also tag it with the name of the show, maybe. Is that an option? Uh, no. So that's really cool. And then open Anki. I'm really not good at making efficient videos, am I? How, how are we doing? Seven minutes, eight minutes, fuck. Um, okay, and then go to my, my, my uh, spank bank. Toradora, you see, and then there's all of the things, and then I'm sure you know how to make sentence cards. Um, but yeah, just like Subsurus R Us. Um, and then something I'll do after every session of watching is that I'll go uh, find duplicates, look in notes, which is you know why we conjugate everything. Okay, cool. And then I'll just um, pick the ones that I want. Because I'm trying to mine just Toradora, because I'm gonna be reading the light novels, um, I'm basically deleting any duplicate that isn't from Toradora, so I'm trying to make that take priority. But I, I, this is a good explanation of how to use Voracious. Um, there's other modes, I'm sure that it's in the demo. Um, you know, you do have to get the subs in time yourself if they're not, which is a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, like that, that's it. Cheers.